giving yourself that extra like push to just do it is gonna be big What's up everyone? It's Jen Tsui. I am a holistic health coach and personal trainer. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you don't know me um, or what I do, I help empower women through sustainable self-care routines. This is part two of my practicing self-care, self-love, all that jazz, um, that series. And so if you haven't watched the first one, go watch it. It is where to start in practicing self-love. Um, and today we're going to be talking about creating a self-care routine. In the last video, we talked about like your vision for what it looks like. And we ended with um, picking out those couple things, those one or two things that you feel like would be game-changing for you. So that's what we're going to do. How do you actually create a sustainable self-care routine is a nuanced thing because it's different for everyone. Some people can just pick up something, go for it for a few weeks and a month or two months even at a time and then be fine. Other people have a hard time just doing it two, three days in a row. Really understanding your own personal habits is going to be big here. So look at your past. Like I said, Typically, these goals don't just happen overnight. You've probably had them before, whether that's to eat healthier, go to the gym more often, be kinder to yourself, journal, meditate, whatever it is. You've probably had it before. So in the past, what happened that maybe stopped you? How long did you last on this trend? And what were the action steps that you were taking? Creating something that is going to be successful takes time and it takes a lot of baby steps. So don't just try to rush into it and bite off more than you can chew, but actually break it down into small little achievable steps or like little bites. Okay, so <laughs> let's take a really common one, which is going to the gym regularly, um, building that lean muscle and everything else. Really, a lot of it is nutrition, but let's just say going to the gym is going to be your self-care um, game changer. So how are you going to build a routine for that? There's actually a thing called the trans Model of Behavior Change. It is the six stages of making change. It's kind of like five stages. There's one stage which is uh, essentially like a relapse stage where you can go back and do any of them and just not do it anymore. So preparation. How are you going to actually go to the gym regularly? Do you own a gym membership? Do you own uh, fitness apparel. You don't want to be working out in like jeans. Uh, that is going to be uncomfortable. What is it that you're actually going to need to reach this goal? If you, you know, are on a budget constraint and you don't, uh, you can't afford like a gym membership, are you going to go outside and then go for hikes? Are you going to do online YouTube videos? Like how are you going to actually build this routine out? And when you're actually able to break it down into that minutia, then you can keep going, right? So let's say that you decided to get a gym membership. Great. Uh, when are you going to go? So let's build in that time block into your schedule. If you're going to go in before work, after work, um, in between work, uh, or if you're a student, like in between classes at school, like when you're going to actually go to the gym and build that into your schedule. If you have tried this in the past and it just didn't work, why? Was it because you got home and you were too tired? Was it because you got injured or like anything like that? In which case, it would uh, probably behoove you to look into personal training or group fitness classes in which that's going to keep me more accountable. Visibility creates accountability. So if you see it on your schedule and you know that hey, I um, told my friend I was going to go to this class with them, or hey, I said I was going to go work out with this person today at this time, you're less likely to flake. And you're even more less likely to flake if you put down your cold, hard cash to somebody to be like, hey, put me through a workout, kick my ass, let me sweat, and chances are you're going to get there. There's all these tactics in place that you need uh, or that like, you can use to help you build that habit and really get into a routine. You don't need a trainer right off the bat if you uh, feel like you really don't. 
I always would recommend it. I understand financially just doesn't make sense for a lot of people, in which case YouTube videos I think are great and doing your research um, in, you know, the movements uh, that you need to do to achieve your goals and to make sure you don't injure yourself. But if you can't afford a trainer, I would highly recommend it because there's someone who can answer the questions for you, really build out a plan and explain why they're doing what they're doing with you and give you that live feedback of, hey, you know, your posture needs to be this way or, oh, if this isn't feeling good for you right now, let's do it this way. If you have any injuries um, or any other physical constraints, they can help you with it. Group fitness classes are awesome, especially uh, now with like class pass and stuff, you can go try out a bunch of different ones. So if you're someone who gets bored easily, then maybe that is going to be the sustainable routine for you is getting something like class pass so you can try out a bunch of different things at once. You can go take Soul Cycle, and then you can go do a boxing class. You can go to the Lit Method. You can go do X Y Z. Um, you can do an outdoor workout. Um, you can go do yoga. So really figuring out, um, preparing what you want to do and what the path you're gonna take to start with is gonna be great. Once you have that all built into your routine, understanding that setbacks occur and being able to deal with those in a proper manner or like efficient manner is going to be also really important. Maybe you feel like crap one day. Are you going to just skip out your workout? Are you going to force yourself to go anyways? Um, What's kind of that game plan? And some things you just can't plan. You can't plan for, you know, a breakup to happen and you're just like sobbing on your on your bed and you're just like, I don't want to do anything. Um, you can't plan for yourself getting uh, randomly injured at school or at work um, or, you know, maybe at a group fitness class and then you're out for a while. But what you can plan for is how are you going to keep yourself in this Um, kind of drive to keep doing what you're doing. Really understanding why you're doing what you're doing and trying to do something to the best of your ability is going to be key. Forgiveness in yourself of when you can't do something, when you truly cannot, um, that's gonna be okay. But also having that drive and that grit to push you through just like a lazy day where you just kind of don't feel like it but you could do it, giving yourself that extra like push to just do it is gonna be big so something sustainable is always gonna start with those small steps favorite question again is what is a small step that you can take to help you reach your goals if that small step is to just go for a walk if that small step is to park your car the furthest spot away from your office to go walk in, and that's like more physical activity than you've already done, then that's great. But it's that small step that you're going to do continuously over time that's ultimately gonna build to that big win. Even when you have a gym membership or something like that, it is really hard for people to just go and use it. Um, that's actually a big tactic of why gyms make money because they have way more members that pay for it than can actually be there. So how are you going to be the member who actually goes and uses their membership? Build it into your routine. You have to build it into your schedule and you have to stick to it. And if you don't go, it might be a question of willpower, but it also doesn't have to be. Because if your ultimate goal is fitness and health, that might not have to be the gym, right? So if you miss the gym, go for a walk instead. Stretch. Go for, go go stretch at home, a little bit of a jogging in place type of situation. Like whatever you need to do to stay on top of it and feel like, you know, you can stick to this routine, that's what you should go for. And if you need additional support, ask for it. You also have more stake in the game if you have other people kind of rooting for you. So creating that social support system is gonna be huge in creating something sustainable. Really letting people around you know and that can support you in that journey is gonna help you tremendously, especially on those low days where you just feel like you can't. Those are gonna be um, invaluable players in your success and in your um, self-love is to be able to share that with others so that they can give you that extra support when you can't give it to yourself so that's honestly pretty much it it's it's like i said it's kind of simple 
to start your routine. Um, what's hard is to keep it. So that's where it takes the social support, it takes the mental energy, it takes the grit um, to do all of that. And once you reach like three months or so, that's when you start to maintain it. And then you get to six months and you get to nine months and you get to a year. Uh, so it's really just how do you keep it going on. People say that it takes 21 days to build a habit. I forget where that comes from, but it's not accurate. It actually takes 66 days to build a habit. That is like three months. So I know it sounds like a long time and it can be a long time, but if you do small steps every day or even every week, it helps to build that bigger routine. And what we're going for is something sustainable that's lifelong, that's long term. We're not looking at the short goal of like losing weight really quickly or anything. So we're talking about building small steps over time to get that big win. So I hope that helped. Once again, my name is Jen. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments below. Message me on my Instagram, either at to Jen Toy Health or at to Jen underscore uh, Toy. You can also visit my website right here where it talks about uh, personal training and health coaching and also how I actually help people with creating sustainable self-care routines. If you have any questions, you can also email me on that. There's also a free ebook on there. Uh, it's about how to stay fit and healthy as a college student. Yeah, you can go ahead and download that as well for free and also get my newsletters. So that's everything. Once again, uh, I'm Jen and I hope you have a fantastical day and much love to you. You can do it. You're awesome. Um, don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Okay, bye.